Okay, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a cake of brown bread or a loaf of brown bread. This is something that I started during the last 12 months or 18 months or so. I got a book for Christmas, Nevin McGuire's Home Economics for Life or something like that. Very good. But I started making brown bread and it has turned out to be a real nice loaf of brown bread. It's an Irish sort of bread. I hope you find this video useful. I think you will. If you've never made a loaf of brown bread before in your life, I think this is a simple way. It's a beautiful recipe. I'll stick it in the, the uh, box down below underneath the video on YouTube. Okay, the first thing you're going to need to do is to turn on your oven, preheat your oven at 200 degrees C. So the longer you have the oven on, the better, but 10, 15 minutes generally is as long as I do it for, and it turns out fine. So I'll turn on the oven and preheat it 200 degrees. And then we're going to have a look at all of the ingredients. And I, as I say, will put the recipe underneath this video on YouTube. And you can take a look yourself, have a go. It's very, very straightforward, very, very easy. It only takes 10 minutes to make it. It takes 40 minutes after that then to bake it. But obviously you can get on with your life. You can do something else whilst it's baking. You can read a book, watch TV, do a bit of work, whatever you're into. Uh, whatever floats your boat but bottom line is there's only about 10 minutes of preparatory work involved in making this and this is a seriously nice uh, loaf of brown bread irish sort of bread so let's have a look i have my recipes on my galaxy tab tablet and even though i would probably easily enough be able to do the brown bread without referring to the recipe I'm a person who believes very strongly in procedures, standard operating procedures. And so I like just to go through the checklist every single time and ensure that I've got the right, the right ingredients and so on. So first thing is you need a bowl, obviously, and uh, we'll have a look now for a bowl. Okay, I've got my scales here and I've got my bowl, a plastic bowl here. It's handier, uh, handiest of all. So I'm going to just set the scales at zero and I'm going to weigh in the ingredients now. So what I'm going to do is weigh the ingredients into the bowl and uh, mix them up. So the very first thing we need is eight, eight uh, ounces of strong white flour. So strong white flour, I use Odlums, but you can use any strong white flour that you like. You want eight ounces. Okay, we've got our eight ounces of strong white flour. Now we need eight ounces of wholemeal flour, coarse wholemeal flour. So we've eight ounces of strong white flour, we've eight ounces of wholemeal flour. Then we're gonna need two spoons, two teaspoons of Muscovado sugar, okay? This is Muscovado sugar. We put two teaspoons into, into the bowl. Then we put one teaspoon of baking powder or bicarbonate of soda. The either does, I think they're the same thing, I'm not sure, but I've got both and they both work really well. So. So one um, teaspoon of bicarbonate soda. Then we want salt. One teaspoon of salt. Then we're gonna put in some seeds, some sunflower seeds. I'm gonna put in one tablespoon of sunflower seeds. Then we need three quarters of a pint of buttermilk. So I've got my three quarters of a pint of buttermilk here. I need two teaspoons of melted butter and I have that on the pan there at the moment. So just two teaspoons of melted butter and I need one teaspoon of golden syrup. And that's essentially everything that we put into our 
loaf of brown bread. So I'm going to put in the golden syrup there now, one spoon of it, one teaspoon. I've got my two teaspoons of melted butter, so it's going in there now. And I pour the milk <coughs> into the pan in order to get all of the melted butter out of it. So just throw this in the sink there. Now you only actually need the weighing scales for the 8 ounces of strong white flour and the 8 ounces of wholemeal flour. After that then it's just spoons of stuff you're putting in or whatever. But once you have everything in the bowl you simply mix it up with something like this, like with a wooden spoon or a spatula or something of that nature. So we'll just mix it up. And once it's mixed up then, and it doesn't take much mixing quite frankly, you just want a sort of a dropping consistency or whatever. You don't want it too hard or, or too soft, but the bottom line is if you follow the instructions I've given you there and if you follow the instructions underneath and you put in the correct quantities and you put in three quarters of a pint of buttermilk you'll get beautiful brown bread and you will uh, it'll be easy to make it only takes about 10 minutes as I say it takes 40 minutes baking after that but obviously you can go along and do anything you like in terms of your um, your daily life as it were so I can go off on a Saturday morning for example I'll bake the bread and I will maybe write a blog post or make a video for my my business or for my YouTube channel or for my for my uh, some of my websites and so on you know so we've mixed this up in the bowl mixed it up in the bowl I'll give you a look there now this is what it looks like What we need now is a baking tin. Now what you want to do with your baking tin is you want to put some olive oil or rapeseed oil in it. Just brush it in with uh, some sort of a brush because it'll prevent the uh, bread from sticking to the tin and it'll be really easy to take it out then afterwards. Just got to brush it around with this brush so that all sides of the tin and the bottom and so on has the oil in it. Could be rapeseed oil, could be olive oil, doesn't make any difference. It will prevent the bread, the dough from sticking to it when it's baking. It's nearly ready to go but not quite because there's three other ingredients we're going to put in or put on top of the brown bread to really give it a nice finish. Doesn't make any difference what order you put these on. First thing is some flavins, oats, oats is porridge oats, I so just sprinkle them on the top like so. Then I put some pumpkin seeds, pumpkin seeds, as I say, I'll put the recipe down below in each video on YouTube and you'll see for yourself. There's some pumpkin seeds. And then I'm going to put some sesame seeds as well. So. That's it, it's ready to go. So we've got a brown bread kick uh, ready to go, or, or mix is ready to go. 
and we're going to put it in the oven for 40 minutes at 200 degrees C and we're going to get a really nice cake of brown bread so we'll do that now and then we'll just set the timer for 40 minutes and I'll go off then and I'll do something so I'll go and feed the birds or I'll write a blog post or I'll make a video or I'll do something useful with myself um, not to say that this isn't useful it is I started making this bread about 12 months ago 18 months ago and it's very very easy to make and it is beautiful bread and you know for the breakfast every morning it's really really nice to be able to have a good quality Irish soda bread that you can rely on it's never McGuire's recipe as I say I'll put it underneath I'm going to stick it in the oven now for 40 minutes 200 degrees C and then we'll come back and we'll have a look and see what it's like I'll show you what it's like okay the 40 minutes the 40 minutes baking time is up there now so we're going to have a look and see how the bread turned out so here's our our brown bread all right this is the Irish soda bread and we just tip it out there now okay here's our brown bread um, Irish soda bread as you can see there smells really nice very very straightforward very very easy to make that bread 10 minutes preparation is all it takes the rest of the time obviously it's in the oven for 40 minutes baking this would be a very very nice brown bread Irish soda bread for the breakfast tomorrow morning or any other time and to be honest with you it's a very very easy recipe to follow I leave the recipe down below underneath this video on YouTube and you can take a look yourself have a go it's very straightforward it's very very easy if I can do it anybody can do it and you'll be guaranteed nice fresh brown bread on a regular basis I hope you find this video useful if you do give us a thumbs up down below and you may be interested in subscribing to my YouTube channel on my YouTube channel I don't normally deal with bread or baking or food I deal with Irish law Irish business and uh, various um, aspects of setting up and running a business and various aspects of employment law running businesses um, conveyancing buying property selling property and so on but as i say i hope you find this video useful if you do give it a thumbs up down below and you may be interested as i say in subscribing to my channel if you are hit the subscribe button there below and hit the bell and you'll be notified every time there's a new video thanks for watching